welcome to another episode here. Today's topic, we are dealing with mathematics yet again. And in the left-hand corner, you can see our question, and I highly recommend pausing the video for however long it takes and trying to solve it. Um, but for other people who don't know, like, hey, what the heck am I doing? We're just going to jump right in and see how we do, okay? So the question is asking how many consecutive integers beginning with 10 must be taken for the sum to equal 2,035. Okay, so this one is a little bit of a uh, kind of, it, it has a simplistic solution, though you have to realize, you have to go back into your previous classes and remember, oh, hey, it's this, yada, yada, yada. The key to this question is an arithmetic sequence, okay? So the sequence starts off like this, okay? So the sequence, if I can write it properly for y'all, starts off as 10, 11, then 12, so on and so on, right? So. What we need to realize is, is that there is a particular formula that you guys should remember. And so it starts off like this. S equals N over 2, parentheses, 2A, plus parentheses yet again, N minus 1 multiplied by D. Okay, so a lot of this is just trying to figure out what the sequence is. So in the problem, we were given that S equals 2,035. Additionally, we found that A, which is the beginning initial state, is going to be 10. So S is the end result here. A is the beginning beginning result, which was here. And so once we realize that, what we need to do is then come to the idea of what is left over. So we have S here, we have N, A, and D. Okay, so we've got two out of those four, so that's 50% of the way there. The one that you already know now is D. All it is is taking the difference between each of these sequences. So for here, it would be one. For here, it would be one. So it's taking 10 minus 11, so, you know, sorry, 11 minus 10, which gives you a difference of one. 12 minus 11, which gives you a difference of one. So what we have right here is a very simplistic formula, which all of you know probably how to do in your head, but we're just trying to write it out. So keeping all this in mind, what we come up with is this now plug and chug formula, which is 2035 N over two. Then we take two times 10 plus N, which we don't know, minus one times D, which is one. And now we solve for n, okay? So for this video, we're gonna go ahead and solve for n just because some people might not be comfortable with trying to do the quadratic, but that's all right. That's what we're here to learn and what we're trying to ultimately do and learn. So bear with me as I clean off the board. So the thing we need to kind of come up with here is going back to our formula that we had, which was 2035, which equals dot, dot, dot. All of you should have written it down beforehand. If not, please rewind the video and go back and see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply through the actual brackets, them, sorry, the parentheses or brackets, depending on how you wrote it. And we're going to come up with the solution of n squared plus 19n minus 4070. Okay. 
what we did there is we combined a lot of steps algebraically, but we just multiplied through the actual parentheses. Um, a good tip or trick is to take that half and multiply by two on one side to get rid of it and put it over by the 2035. And so the next we're going to complete the square. So now we've got n squared plus 74n. That looks like an 8. Sorry there, guys. 74n minus 55n. Sorry, this is not completing the square. This is expanding on the expression we just made. So we go from here. And the next step is to get like terms. And we take n plus 74 in the parentheses. And we realize in the next set of numbers, we have a denominator that can fit of 55. And of course, negative 55 is another possibility there. So we can pull out that negative, we can pull out that 55. And so then we're left with an n plus 74. Very nicely how that kind of worked out right there. Totally not on purpose. And so what we realize is that we have an n value. Sorry there, guys. Obviously, my pen doesn't want to work with me. Okay, it obviously doesn't want to work with me. So, what we have here is, um, I can't write it out, sorry about that, but for content's sake, uh, as you can see in the parentheses, n plus 74, if you set that equal to zero, n plus 74, you bring the 74 over, you will have a negative 74. Next, if you take the n, and you take the negative 55, n minus 55 will be the next set that you have to set equal to zero, and that 55 is brought over, and you get a positive 55. So your answers for this problem are a negative 74 and a positive 55. So hopefully that you know gives you a way of trying to look at this problem and solve it. Um, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. Um, please leave a comment down below if you guys want to see anything else or if I ended up doing anything wrong. I'm always here to learn. and So we'll probably catch you on the next video. Y'all have a good one.